Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Soap the Great, and I am here with the 30th, that's right, 30th episode of Building the City on this channel. Now 30 is a rather large number, and it has a zero at the end of it, so that means maybe we should do a little bit of celebrating, huh? What do, what do you think? Well, towards the end of last year, and I think it was on New Year's Eve, I am not sure right at the moment. I did this little sneak preview video saying, hey, I'm going to be building the Behemoth Enderman Farm. So how about we build an Enderman Farm? What do you think? That's big. That's a pretty big uh, build, right? Well, we're going to do that in this episode. Um, it's a rather ambitious uh, build, but uh, I think we can do it. If I cut it just right, we should be able to get the farm itself in place. Maybe not the enchanting setup, maybe not the storage area. We can come back and do that later, but certainly the farm. And uh, I am going to end up going with the Behemoth Enderman design, our uh, Enderman farm design by King Happy. Uh, that farm was built on the Hermitcraft server by Izuma Void, and uh, it was originated by King uh, Queen King Happy. Um, unfortunately, his channel has been terminated by YouTube with uh, not not really any sign of appeal which is unfortunate because he had a lot of good stuff on there a lot of good tutorials a lot of Minecraft science um, so anyway you can find him on Twitter I will post a link to his Twitter account in the description below I will also post links to um, a tutorial video I found for that for the behemoth design I will also post a link to his world download, which he posted on Twitter, and I will also post a video link for the Azuma Void build on the Hermitcraft server. So that is the first set of video links that I will reference here. Hopefully that is it for now, but let me just tell you how I'm thinking of ordering this whole build, okay? The design itself comprises of four distinct sections. There's the drop area or the collection platform for the Enderman. Um, you can see that right here. The Enderman will end up just standing right here waiting for us to come along and one hit get them, okay? So that is already done, okay? The next thing is a drop shoot and then above that is a fall damage reset strip and then above that are the spawning platforms. So um, what I'm gonna do is I have a hard time being able to talk and do the building concentrating necessary, especially for one that is as dangerous as this um, can be, considering that is the void right there. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut, do the next section, bring you back, show you what I've done, talk a little bit about it, and then cut again, rinse and repeat until we get to the top, which will be, well, up there. Somewhere up there. Oh, and what's that over? Mmm, what in the world? Let's take a closer look, shall we? We've got Optifine installed. MC Soap the Great. Just flying around? Whoa, that's crazy. That's actually my camera account. That is new for this episode. I wanted to get this on camera and do a little time lapse. And uh, so that's why I got that. So um, I do need to do a little bit of disclosure here. Um, it is a lot easier to move a player around in creative than in survival. And so I have put MC Soap the Great into creative mode. Um, my goal is to not interact with the world at all with him. Um, it's just going to be used as a camera account for now. And maybe I'll switch back and forth with that being my main one. We'll see. But for now, he is in creative mode. Um, he has not done any interaction with this world. He won't place any blocks. He won't destroy any blocks. He's not going to spawn anything in. Um, it's just recording, okay? And we'll, we should see the results of that a little later on, okay? Um, one of the things I do want to do right now is um, this is a little bit unsafe. And so the first thing I'm going to do, let me just give you a quick, a quick showing of what's going to go on, okay? I am going to, this is just temporary because I don't want to fill the whole thing in, but I am going to go around and fill this entire area in with water. I'm going to put these half slabs around the edge 
just to give me a little bit of a safety net, if you will, in case I fall off. And it will also keep Enderman from popping around close by me. So a um, little bit of safety, and, uh, and then I'll just come back in and clean it up when the build is done. But uh, for now, I am going to cut, and I'm going to get that drop shoot done. We're going up uh, to y equals 39, I think, with glass every two. But I will show you that when we come back from the cut. All right, see you in a bit. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back, and I am gathering resources for the next phase. So let me just show you. Hopefully I don't get ambushed by any endermen. Um, I have a hard time. Okay, there we go. Doesn't look like anything is up there. I had a bit of some network problems in the midst of that recording, and while I was up there, an enderman spawned on top of one of my dirt scaffolding blocks, and uh, that was my fault. But uh, took care of him, no problem. Um, but I did end up going too high on this thing. I went up 12 when I should have just gone up um, 11. But it's not too bad because this top one, we needed part of it anyway. I just have to take out part of it. But we'll just uh, get up here. There we go. And uh, hey, we're eye level with camera account. We're going to have to move him up because we are getting ready to do the fall damage reset. But to I, I do have to make um, my mistake right and so I'm gonna need to get some special shears do I have those I did not bring those with me nope so I gotta go all the way back down that's fine but that is um, that is the fall shoot right there all made of glass and uh, next up is the fall damage reset so I will be back when that is complete All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back from that cut. And, um, well, you're going to see it in the time lapse, but in that last one, I happened to fall. And wouldn't you know it, I fell in the only place that is not safe. And that is right smack in the middle of the farm right here. Yep, I fell exactly where the Endermen are going to fall. And uh, it did not work so well for me. And I had to hurry up and run back and collect all my stuff. But that is just the way things go with something like this. All in all, I'm only down one tripwire hook, so it's not too bad. But let me show you. This is the fall damage reset area. And if you're not aware of what that means, let me move over a little bit here. Um, the way Minecraft calculates fall damage is it checks to see um, what your initial position was and what your new one is from the last point um, at which you touched the ground and it just does a basic subtraction and if that um, that subtraction value is equal to or greater than um, your overall health points. Or I'm not sure what the exact uh, correlation is between the two, but if it's high enough, then um, it's going to, well, it's going to kill your character. And so the same thing happens with all mobs. And Endermen happen to have a higher health point than a lot of other mobs. They uh, require a drop of 43. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be spawning them from 127 way up there all the way to one above actually this one this is the first spawning platform and nothing can spawn right now because there are lights on it so from 127 down to here we're gonna have a bunch of spawning platforms and if they were to fall from even this height uh, down onto that collection area down there they would not give any XP because they would immediately turn into ender pearls, right? So uh, it would not be a one-punch 
kill, it would be um, no kill for the player. So no experience points. And we don't want that. So what's going to happen is Minecraft says, okay, you've touched some vines, your fall damage gets reset, and we're going to use that on the Enderman. So as soon as they pass by this set of vines right here and here, they'll just go right through, and their fall damage gets reset back to the full, um, requiring 43, a 43 height drop, and they'll end up down below. So, um, so yeah, um, the buttons there stop the vines from growing any further because we just want them to be too high, and that's it. And then below that is a little safety mechanism to keep the Enderman in a one wide gap. So if any Enderman happen to fall right um, right here and trigger the tripwire the piston is going to push over and push them into the, um, the actual fall area so that is where we're at now next up is the spawning platforms and uh, and next, there's going to be a lot of those so it'll be a little bit before I come back from a cut but when I do hopefully we will be done with the superstructure of the farm and then we can just work on decorating okay back in a bit all right ladies and gentlemen um, I did say that I was going to bring you back when uh, I had the spawning platforms done but um, I just want to do a quick progress update um, I had some connection problems and ended up having to leave and now we've got these guys all on top of this area so that's that's a bit annoying we'll just try and move them into the farm there we go yeah so they're just hanging out stealing my dirt but yeah I would take a, a look at how far we have to go but I might run my crosshairs across one of them so let's just take a look here we are currently at 72 and on this particular space we need to be up I think it's 126 so we've still got a little ways to go but uh, anyway we're getting there we've gotten into somewhat of a groove but uh, it's it's uh, it's going so I will be back when all of the platforms are done so see you then you know these guys are rather loud you know when you get a bunch of them together make so much racket welcome back ladies and gentlemen um, I am truly sorry I meant to bring you back in when I was at the very top of the farm and had finished that very last layer and I got so excited that uh, it was done and I forgot all about turning on record mode so my apologies um, I, I'm not sorry enough that I'm going to build that tower back and put ladders up and go up and show you if you really want to see that you can take a look at King Happy's tutorial or the Azumavoid Hermitcraft um, build that I've got in the description below um, or you can just take a look at the world download and fly around in creative and, and take a look at it so um, again my apologies but uh, I, I was just on a roll and wanted to get the thing done so um, I got it finished and then I started taking down my scaffolding and went layer by layer just ran through each spawning platform since the piston is at three above um, it's a height of three and the player is a height of two you can just run through on the spawning platforms no problem as the player and uh, I did that primarily to test because it's a lot easier to test when you're in the midst of the build rather than later on when you see oh hey it's not operating at full efficiency now is it and you got to go up and debug what's going on and that actually is pretty similar to my day job with uh, software development it's a lot easier when we are first starting a new project to find the bugs and fix them 
it's a lot cheaper than sending it out to the customer and then finding the bug and then trying to get new software out to the customer fairly late in the game. So, um, you know, same thing here. Uh, it's a lot easier to find, a lot cheaper, a lot less time spent if you just check earlier on. And so that's why I tested it while I was up there. And sure enough, during testing, I found that I had missed an entire row of string. So, thank goodness for testing. Test early, test often. All right, that is the software development mantra coming out. Um, I hope to not bore you with that anymore. Um, so anyway, we are done with that part of the farm. So part of the this uh, this whole 30th episode celebration was the camera account, and I used that to record the entire build. So let's take a look at a time lapse of this build, shall we? And when it's done, I will bring you back and we'll chat about anything else that needs to be done around here, okay? So I hope you enjoy.
back and I I sincerely hope you enjoyed that time lapse I really enjoyed putting it together and I've enjoyed this build so far and this really this whole episode it has been a lot of fun it's been a lot of work but you know there's nothing wrong with a little bit of work now is there um, that is uh, you know I think I think we're gonna call this an episode okay uh, we still have some work to do we've got the enchanting area I'm gonna do a little enchanting room and um, got some storage that we need to put in because I mean really look at this we're gonna have ender pearls upon ender pearls and there's really only so much that really our server needs so uh, not just storage for them but also a little trash area maybe uh, just chuck them out into the void because it's it's just right out there but uh, a little trash thing and some other niceties and I don't think you know I it's not that I don't think it's that we don't have time for that this time so I don't want to wear out your patience and so I want to keep this episode to right around 25 minutes or so 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 we're gonna call it right now okay I do hope you enjoyed if you did feel free to give it a thumbs up it helps me out a bunch if you really enjoyed feel free to subscribe put these out every Saturday this tutorials uh, you name it we'll you know we'll see what we have in the future certainly have plenty more ideas to implement here on the building the city server with my co-workers so uh, there are plenty more episodes for building the city to come especially because we need to finish the Enderman farm it is not completely done right still got to get all these guys to stay in here and there's some there's some work involved in that so anyway that'll be next episode um, as always I do appreciate your comments and questions and suggestions they have certainly helped thus far we have hopefully gotten the recording volume issue settled and um, really you know it's just been a lot of fun interacting with you so feel free to comment um, I look forward to it and as always, I do thank you for watching. It, it means a lot to me that uh, you are taking time out of your day to watch this. And uh, it's, it's rather humbling, actually. So I thank you for watching. And um, I will see you, I will talk to you in the next episode. Bye-bye.